wow that's so cool it is called as 3d parallax transition and i hope you love that intro at the starting of the video and we'll be learning to create this using two applications that is luma fusion and keynote okay first you will need one photo previously i teach you how to remove the person from the image that is very useful in this tutorial so it is a part two if you want to watch part one you can watch the link is given in the description if you are very much new to my channel then please subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos okay so now let's learn how to create this 3d parallax transition for that first we are going to use keynote here we are in canva let's create the new design like this create new design and select the desired photo you want to use it and tab on edit as you tab on edit previously i teach you how to use this magic edit tool that okay and select the brush size i will use 10 and just zoom and brush over this person because we want to remove this person okay it's very easy okay you don't need to be so accurate for this like this done zoom out now and tap continue as you continue it asking describe what to generate background b a c k back g r o u n d okay tap enter generate in few minutes or within a minute or within a second it will generate the output let's see so now here we have to select this image it's looking perfect now we have removed the person from the image the tab on save like this Now here you can see we have removed the person from the image now tab on save like this download okay let's see done we have removed the person okay now we have to open keynote apple keynote it is a free application here if you want to set the canvas size you can tab on this down arrow and you can go to presentation presentation setup and you can select slide size custom and you can type this setting below okay now tap done done okay so here we are in 1080 canvas okay here you can see two things that is the person that is a transparent person from that image and here is the clear background along with the name that is tim's adventure now first what you have to do we have to put all this together in this canvas means we have to align this so first select the background tab on brush you will find this brush tool on the corner right hand side tab on arrangement that is arrange and in the arrange below you will find align and distribute like this align align so it will automatically align so you don't need to use your finger pencil to align like this okay just tap these two options like this we have to align this person perfect and we have to align the text center and we have to bring this font down like this below the canvas you will get to know because in the intro i have shown that the team's adventure come like this below the background below the person okay now go back means undo it okay this is the first part now here one more thing we have to remove this sky and along with these trees so how we are going to do this first create a copy of this background like this and paste it like this we have the another background okay now what we have to do just select this image and tab on brush like this image and tab on remove background when you tab on remove background just zoom it with the two fingers like this and 
let's remove the trees like this tab done and rest we have to crop it now double tab on the stone again like this and remove all this so we have three different layers okay a stone okay a background like this and the person okay let's align it again stone line to the bottom like this bring the person forward like this you can keep the text back means it will pop up from the background from the stone okay this is the first part we have finished it now let's move on to create 3d parallax animation for that select the slide like this as you select the slide you will find different different option cut copy paste but we need transition option the like this tab on animation add animation and here we are going to use magic move yes it is a beautiful animation now it's not happening but it will create it now tab on x like this as you tab on x it asking do you want to create a duplicate slide we have to tap yes means create the duplicate so like this it will create a duplicate and in the first slide you will see a yellow arrow like this on the right hand side corner tab on done okay as we have applied magic move animation now we have to play with the second slide now we are not going to touch the first slide okay in order to work with this animation first we are going to select the person then we are going to select the stone like this first use this first finger select the person and along with use this thumb to select the stone like this okay and here you will get the option of group tab on group okay now we have to stretch this both groups like this hope you understand why we created the group okay you can also see the image size okay let's zoom it line this okay as we happy with the composition yes perfect leave it and again select that group and tab on ungroup this is very very important okay now we have separate layer of this person separate layer of this stone go back okay very easy in order to give depth to the 3d animation or 3d transition we need to select the sky means we have to select the background select the background and stretch it until the stone disappears okay perfect now move to first slide like this and tab on transition tab on magic move now we have to set the duration of the transition by default it is 2 but we need 3 seconds like this and in second option that is delivery and acceleration we need to select by object fade unmatch object will be on here is the very important part we need to select ease in and out animation okay tab on done like this go back let's play it perfect now tab on done almost we are close to the animation let's zoom in now we have to animate the text so for that select the text and move this text like this the above to the sky and we need to increase the text size that will be 200 let's see it is correct or not yes perfect let's select this text align this text perfectly okay everything is perfect 
now we are going to play it now type on play let's see beautiful superb it's very smooth and cool it's looking very very cool and now we are going to export it so for that you have to tab on this down arrow and tab on export okay and tab on movie here project setting will be 4k frame rate will be 60 slide range will be all and export save the video this beautiful now we can export this let's play it again wonderful now here you can bring the project to the luma fusion timeline and see what i did okay So how to create this just you have to drag that clip tab on import you need to find that we have to import that animation to the luma fusion timeline like this okay see now create a duplicate and here you can put the reverse like this and it will create a reverse animation okay and now here you can select the first clip again cut it select that split clip like this edit and speed down this to one slash two four zero okay so it will create a 4x animation so we are going to crop it like this and get back to normal like this see very simple and now you can add some sound effect beautiful along with you can add more deep animation like this it will fade away it will create a deep okay deep transition this is all about brand new 3d parallax transition in luma fusion and keynote i hope you enjoy watching this tutorial then give a big thumbs up share with your friends see you very soon in the brand new video till then take care stay safe Bye-bye.